Now in Excel statistical analysis video number 12, we talked about percentiles. And in the comments, Celia said, hey, quartile 1, quartile 2, that's fine. But I want to calculate the mode within quartile 1. As we saw last video, we can use the quartile.exe or inc to calculate the markers for the data set to divide the data set into four parts. So I'll select all of the data, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma, and we'll do a function argument array operation to spill all of these values by putting 0 to 4 into the court argument. When I hit Enter, the results spill down the column. So Celia is looking at 20. That means there's a marker right in between 19 and 23. But these are the only values we need to use inside the mode function. So over in this cell, we're going to filter the data set, get the entire data set, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma, and we want to include only the values less than quartile 1. So we have to put this column in again. And we say any values in that column that are less than. And we'll put the quartile function right into the formula. We need the same array again. But for the time being, we're going to hard code quartile 1 in. Now, if I highlight this little bit right here in F9, you can see it's giving me the actual value. And now the formula will look through that whole column and only pick out the values that are less than the quartile 1 marker, Control-Z. Now watch what happens here. I kind of messed up when I close parentheses and hit Enter. I'm going to get a spill error. And that just means, hey, there's something in the way. If you click in the cell and you see that dotted outline, that means something is blocking me. If I move this with my Move cursor for the time being, you can see, sure enough, it spills exactly what we want. And guess what? We put that filtered result right into the mode function. So Control-Z and the top cell F2. Mode, and I'm always going to use mode.multiple, because if it gives me multiple values, then I have to deal with it. And in this case, it would give me a spill error. But because there's only one mode, bam, there it is. Now I want you to notice something, F2. We use that same range there three different times. Any time you have a formula element, like that array right there, that is repeated multiple times, there's a function that allows us to define variables inside the formula. And that way, we can define this range right here one time and then use it over and over in the formula. Now watch this. I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to copy this in edit mode, Control-C, Escape. And down here, the name of the function that lets you define variables is the let function. The name argument, that means what's the name of your variable. I'm just going to call it v for values, comma. Then it says name value. That's the formula element that v will now represent. So let's highlight, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma. Now notice the next argument says calculation or a new variable name. But we only have one variable, so here we put our calculation, Control V. And then wherever I have that array, and I'm going to use the argument to click, I'm just going to type the V. And notice the drop down has an icon, which means X. That's a variable. Then right here, I can't click to highlight everything here, because there's a bunch of other stuff in this argument besides just that range. So very carefully, I'm going to I-beam select it and type a V. Then inside of quartile array, I select and V. And now I come to the end and close on let, and I get the same thing. Now, one problem with this formula and the one up here is we hard coded the one in. It would be nice to just list the modes for each one of the quartile sections. So we'll repeat, comma, all these values, Enter. And now I need to do the same thing filtering. So I have that filter function. But now in include, we have to run an AND logical test where there's an upper limit. That 20 is the upper limit for the first quartile. 
and the lower limit, that's the min. The min is included in this interval. The upper limit is not. So we have two conditions. And the way we build two conditions is in parentheses. And watch this. I'm going to use this over and over. I probably should be using let here. We'll use that. And I'm going to say, are you greater than or equal to the lower limit? Close parentheses. And when you build an AND logical test, the math operator you use is multiplication. An OR logical test uses a plus. And then we open parentheses, Control V. And this is going to be the upper limit. So I have to say less than without the equal sign, that upper limit. Close parentheses. Now close parentheses, when I hit Enter, I see the values are spilling. And that's exactly what I want. Now I do have to copy this, and I forgot. So I'm going to click on Array, F4 key to lock it. And then lock that, F4, and this one, F4. The other ones need to move relatively. So when we move down to quartile 2, it'll use the 41 and 20. But before I do that, now we put this inside of mode.multiple. And the way I think of mode.multiple is I always use it. And in this case, when I Control Enter and copy it down, it will, oh, the last one has two. The other ones seem to only have one. So to deal with this, I would rather spill this horizontally than vertically. And there's a great function to do that, F2 in the top, transpose. And all transpose does is it takes vertical, makes it horizontal, or horizontal, and makes it vertical. So now Control Enter, copy it down, and bam, I've listed the modes horizontally for each quartile section. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Celia for that cool question. We'll see you next video.